In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use weight embedded barcodes on a Clover devices. To get started, I'm going to show the scale uh, and, and how these barcode labels are coming out. So, we're going to grab uh, something. Oh, here it is. So, first, let's grab a menu and weigh it, right? And we're going to call up an item that's already set up on the scale. All right. And so this is going to produce, uh, well, let me just print another one, print, there it is. So this is going to produce a label that looks like this, right? It will have a, uh, huh? let's see, there it is. So basically it will have the uh, item number and the weight embedded into the barcode. All right, and so this particular weight was 0.43, and let me just demonstrate. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more weight and print another label. All right, so this other label that we're printing um, is similar to the first one. Uh, the first part of it is exactly the same, but this one has a little bit more weight, and so it produces a little bit different barcode. And now I'm going to show you how this works on Clover. Alright, so first we're going to demonstrate that we have weight embedded barcode parser app installed and it's configured in settings uh, and to configure it in settings we would go to settings, accessibility and turn, uh, turn this thing on, uh, the, the weight embedded barcode parser, uh, we'll turn it on and so then we're going to go to inventory right and I've already set up an item that matches this barcode that's printing so let me show you what that looks like um, and I'll print the barcode again all right so the the product code will match this part of the barcode and th that's basically what makes this thing work so you've seen how it's set up in the inventory now I'm gonna go to register I'm going to delete this. Alright, and so I'm just going to scan this barcode. Okay, and you can see that it's adding uh, this item. Now I'm going to print that same big pastrami but with a different weight, uh, like I've shown you. So here's another one. Alright, and so it adds it to the second line item because the weight is different. Of the different packages right so for example this package is 0.43 and this package is 0.69 so it cannot be uh, this item times two uh, however if you scan any one of these barcodes again it'll just multiply one of these line items watch so you can see that it just multiplies because it's exact match it's exact item with an exact weight and now it just does times two on both of these uh, but it separates into two line items uh, because the weight is different and so this is how this app should work uh, There it is 